Hey guys, welcome back to our daily movie recaps. Today we are watching a 2013 drama movie called The Dirty Teacher. The movie starts with a girl named Jamie bringing a gift for her teacher, Cohen because her teacher is leaving school. Jamie asks Cohen about the new teacher, Matson, who is going to replace her. Cohen tells her that she heard Matson is great. Jamie will send her college application later today. It turns out that Jamie's family is having financial difficulties. Their father doesn't have a job, so they need to borrow money from college funds to pay for their house. She leaves her home and heads to Danny's house. At Danny's house, Jamie and Danny are kissing, but Danny's mom catches them both on the bed. Jamie leaves. Danny's mom talks to him and asks him to cool things off with Jamie, because Danny's father is the one who fired Jamie's dad. The next day at school, Matson begins her class and introduces herself to the students. She gave the students an exam on her first day. After the class ends, Matson approaches Danny saying that he needs to maintain his grade to stay on the baseball. Danny asks Matson if she can meet with him after school. After school, they both are talking and Matson asks him if he has a girlfriend. Danny answers immediately that she has one and he praises his girlfriend. Matson starts to like Danny even though he already has a girlfriend. Matson told him that she had free time after school on Thursday. However, Danny declines it because the weekend is the first anniversary of Jamie and Matson then asks for Danny's number so that she can help him with his paper. The next day, Jamie got a C for her paper. She asks Matson why she gets a C, and she wants to make it up since she needs a high grade to get a scholarship to the university. Matson gives her another paper to do by tomorrow, so she can't fix her score. Later on, Jamie meets with Danny and tells him that she can't go because she has to do her paper. Danny gets annoyed and tells Jamie that grades aren't that important. Jamie snaps back and brings her family's economic situation to him. Danny feels like Jamie is blaming his dad again for firing Jamie's dad. He then gives Jamie their anniversary gift and leaves her alone. Meanwhile, Jamie's dad is giving up looking for another job. On the other hand, Matson and Danny go to a bar and drink some beers. Matson assures him that it's only one beer, and she won't tell anybody about it. They're having a conversation mostly about Danny and Jamie's relationship. Meanwhile, Jamie decides to call her friend Heather to ask what Danny is doing because she feels bad cancelling their anniversary plan. Heather answers that Danny is supposed to come over to Trent's place. However, when Heather asks Trent, it turns out that Danny didn't show up. Matson gives him her address just in case he needs extra tutoring. At the school, Jamie asks Danny where Danny was last night, and Danny answers, he went to Trent's place. Suddenly, Danny and Jamie are asked to attend a party for the weekend, and they both accept the invitation. At the party, Jamie approaches Danny and apologizes for ruining their anniversary. She tells him she wants to make up for it, but when Danny wants to go further in their relationship, Jamie stops him. Annoyed Danny leaves her. Outside the party, Danny received a text from Matson. Danny then heads to Matson's place to help her fix her car. It appears that her car is having a problem because she wants to damage it. Danny arrives at Matson's place and he immediately sees the problem. Matson offers to clean Danny's hand inside her house since it looks dirty. Matson keeps flirting with him and Danny finally kisses her. Danny hesitates, but Matson keeps telling him it's okay and that she won't tell anybody. A few hours later, Danny arrives at his home and finds Jamie waiting for him. Jamie asked where he had been. Danny keeps making excuses. Jamie raises her voice and Danny's mother comes out of the house. Jamie then decides to drive her car. Arriving at her home, Jamie finds her mom calling Danny's mother to ask about her. Her mother asks where she has been and whether she has been drinking. Jamie replies that she only had one drink, but her mom keeps scolding her. The following day, Jamie got a C on her second paper. She can't believe that she got the same score as her first paper. She feels that Matson has something against her. Jamie's friend advised her to try to talk to Matson again about the score. When the class ends, Jamie sees Matson and Danny talk. She offers to see her after school to help him with his grades. Danny asks about Matson's parents, and Matson tells him that she never knew her parents. However, she had a foster mother and she killed herself after an insulin overdose. Later on, Jamie meets Danny. Jamie tells Danny that Miss Matson keeps giving her lousy grades. Jamie wants to ask something. But Danny leaves because he has to run some errands for his mom. Danny comes to Matson's place and Matson asks him what Jamie has been telling, and Danny replies with nothing. They decide to kiss again, and when Danny turns over, he sees Jamie staring. Jamie immediately leaves when Danny sees her. Danny manages to catch her. Danny keeps making excuses, but Jamie doesn't believe him. Jamie and Danny then go to Jamie's house. Her mom tells Jamie that she's here if Jamie needs someone to talk. On the other hand, Matson is fighting a voice inside her head. Therefore, the next morning she decides to approach Jamie. She tells Jamie that she made a mistake by scoring her second paper with a C and gives her an A. 
A few hours later, Matson tells the headmaster about Jamie's behavior. The headmaster offers to talk to Jamie, but Matson assures her that she has it under control. Meanwhile, in the parking lot, Danny approaches Jamie to ask how she is doing. Jamie tells Danny that Matson gave her an and she failed Jamie on purpose. Danny tells Jamie that he will end his relationship with Matson tonight. Jamie replies that after he ends his relationship with Matson, he can come over to Jamie's house to talk about their relationship. Later on, Danny asks Matson to meet with him in the park. Matson feels happy about it. At the park, Jamie starts to flirt. Danny tells her that he doesn't like the way Matson has been treating Jamie. Danny then leaves her alone in the park. While crying Matson gets in the car and hits Danny. Afterward, Matson heads to Jamie's house. She puts Danny's blood on Jamie's car quiet. The following day, Matson heads to an auto repair shop to clean the blood in her car. The following day, police talk to each other about the case of a teenager who was found dead in the park. Jamie tries to reach Danny. Her mom told her that she got a call from the police department. The police say that they have found a body that belongs to Danny. The police also want Jamie and her mom to go to the police station. At the police station, Danny's parents blame Jamie for what happened to their son. The police begin an interview with Jamie and he asks whether Jamie was talking with Danny during that incident. Jamie tells him that he's planning to break up with his girlfriend Matson. Surprised that the police are asking Jamie about proof that their teacher is having a relationship with her student, Danny. Later, Matson is interviewed by the police at her house. She denies the fact that she has a special relationship with Danny. Matson told the police that she was accused because she had changed her behavior in the past week. The police didn't forget to ask where Matson was when the incident happened and Matson answered. She was in the movie theater. The next day, the police go to Jamie's house to search and find evidence. The police then found blood on Jamie's front bumper and decide to arrest Jamie as the murderer of Danny. Jamie's mom has been following Matson because Matson is acting suspicious. Jamie believes that the one who killed Danny was Matson. Hence, she plans to trap Matson and make her confess. The following night, Jamie heads to Matson's house. Jamie almost succeeds in recording Matson's confession. Matson finds out and tries to kill Jamie. The police arrived at the right moment and arrested her. In the end, the police find out that Matson has been involved in student affairs before. She managed to cover it up and was able to move to laugh. The next morning, Jamie receives a letter from Wittendale University and she manages to get into her desired universe and the movie comes to an end. In this movie, subscribe to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.